ready to take down any enemy. They're ready to respond to any crisis. They're ready to answer any call. And they're ready to launch a full-scale mission anywhere in the world in just six hours. In times of crisis or conflict, our nation relies on the Marines to answer the call. The Marine Corps is first to fight and best prepared to defend our nation at a moment's notice. No one unit exemplifies the Marine Corps' unique capabilities better than the Marine Expeditionary Unit, or MU. Embarked aboard three Navy ships, a MU combines air, ground, and logistics elements into a powerful quick reaction force. Rapid response planning allows the MU to prepare and launch any mission six hours from the moment they receive an order. Attention, the L5. We just received the execution order. Lance Corporal Davis, go ahead and distribute the order. Aye, sir. Staff Sergeant McIntyre, maintain the situation? Yes, sir. Execute order for a raid. I recommend we break now, sir, and we convene the cadet. Roger, sir. The Crisis Action Team is a team of experienced Marines who will lead the planning and decide on a course of action. During the first hour, the senior staff will analyze the situation and the commanding officer will issue his planning guidance. What's really important is the plan itself, putting it together. So we want to bring all the executors together to slap the table. Key personnel from each ship are called to join the planning on the flagship. Outside of the planning sessions, Marines run daily operations and maintain a state of readiness. I'm going to pose the situation, and then when I'm done, I'm going to give you three questions. The MU carries more than 2,200 Marines, including three rifle companies, tanks, artillery, engineers, amphibious assault vehicles, a reinforced tilt rotor squadron, and a combat logistics battalion. Each unit must be prepared to receive orders and launch a mission in a short time frame. The MU must move quickly to get a plan in place. With the clock ticking, Marines move to get a plan in place. The crisis action team is central to the MU's rapid response abilities. Air support and air coverage is constant throughout, so we need to find out if we have an appropriate LZ to pre-stage the cast. Sir, do you want them airborne, though, uh, during phase one? I'm right. more concerned about phases two through five than I am phase one. After these guys launch 30 minutes prior to hit the shore, essentially, then we'll spot. So 15 minutes. Okay. If this has to change, it's on. Rock, what I want you to understand is this phase two start is exactly what we want. How many aircraft do you need to complete the mission? Two B-22s, one C-130, two AV-8s, and skids. I'm going to have the mission commander on my aircraft and a radio operator. But then also I need to add in there my wave serial, one tag zero one, and that's going to be the uh, mission commander and a radio operator on my aircraft. This team brings together leaders from the ground, air, and logistics elements 
to create a combined arms package. The combined leadership needs to develop three courses of action and agree on a recommendation by the end of the hour. Just a couple quick points to make this thing happen and bring this all together. We need some specific guidance to capture on the big tool we're using, the master timeline. There's some additional checkpoints that have been identified, so make sure the fire's plan incorporates the tactical control measures as brief. As the cat plans, every Marine knows he may be just hours away from launching a mission. The maintenance crew move quickly to finish their work so all aircraft and vehicles are ready to go. By the end of the third hour, the crisis action team must finalize plans and be ready to brief the Mew commander. They need to build a detailed scheme of maneuver to support the recommended plan. We're going to need to know all the movement of the Navy pieces, all the air pieces, and all respective movement of personnel. Specifically from the Ashland, we need ballast times, the times that you're going to splash the AAVs, and the time that you're going to launch the AAVs to push ashore. I guess that's basically you, right? I need to know exactly when you're kicking the AAVs out of the Ashland, and then from you, I need to know the time that you're circling and you're launching towards the shore. Yes, sir. Even before they are briefed, each platoon assembles and begins to prepare. Right now, we got a 60-minute window. Does that mean we're going anytime, like, real soon? No, because we didn't even get the warning order yet. But when it comes down, they can say, hey, we got 60 minutes to get out of here. So what's that mean? El Cats are out, load up, stage, and drop right away, okay? We had to get the weapons in right now because the lieutenant may call back and say, hey, we're going right away. So by the time he gets back, we're already stage ready to splash, all right? Ground units begin to configure gear. Air crew carry out inspections. Logistics teams prepare a staging area and coordinate supplies for distribution. Before the confirmation brief, the CAT team runs through the timeline for the entire mission. On an operation this complex, there is no room for error. I'll be in the overhead 8,000 feet. He can come back after this guy's launched, get gas, wait on deck, so like either kind of back up or kind of trap or cast back or anything like that. They don't need to launch here. So they're, uh, they're ready to go. Like, well, if we reposition them, they'll have to launch in this window. That's what I'm saying. We need to find out if they want to preposition yeah, the near ever. So if they do, then I want to try and, you know, get them off deck as quick as we can before that ABA. Across the Mew are joined by their Navy counterparts for the confirmation brief. Sir, gentlemen, 24 Mew conducts a raid of an insurgent training camp. Here, the staff, officers, and unit leaders present the entire operation in detail from start to finish. Five phased operation, phase one, movement from the arc, shipping into the respective insertion LZs. Phase two is movement from the insertion LZ to the objective area. Phase three, actions on the objective area, meaning we hit that target. Phase four being movement from the actual objective area back to the extraction LZ. And then the extract phase meaning from the extraction LZs back to hard shipping. The method by which I want to do this, do I have a simultaneous insertion in both objective areas? The confirmation brief is the last chance to make sure all supporting commanders understand their unit's role. They will be responsible for briefing their Marines and assigning key tasks. This is not hard, but it is complicated as you can imagine. And the way we resolve that is we brief, we brief, we rebrief. It's just like all of our checks prior to going out on patrol. That's how we mitigate the complexity out of this. 
and I think we can do that very easily with the professionals we have doing it. So let's go out, let's get it done, let's get back here safely, let's get it moving. As soon as the commander approves the plan, the Mew is ready to mobilize. Originally what we we're going to do is create a lane for them to come right in here. However, I believe it would be safer if we move it and we just give them this whole area of the beach over here. So the two LCACs just land right here? Yes. Mission commanders confirmed launch details with the Navy. The only thing that could stop us right now is if there are other ships anchored in that area. Ashton's going to have eyes on up there and radar coverage of that area. So that's the pushback I'm waiting on is if that area is clear for anchorage. It's going to take me 12 minutes to get to the shore. Right, so you got plenty of time. Unit leaders return to their ships to rejoin their units, who have been preparing their gear and are ready to be briefed. With only two hours before launch, each unit issues their orders and squads begin to rehearse. All right, guys, we got a mission. Uh, we're going to be inserted at uh, LZ Cardinal. We're going to keep constant communication between each other. Radio check. Relay, take pictures. Once the raid hits, we're going to take down possible targets. Extract time is to be determined. Uh, basically, our extract will be with the raid force with AAVs that are going to hit the beach. So all the gun shops are already going to be here on the tree line. All the machine gunners are going to dismount. And they're going to link up with the unit from uh, Anderson's team, give them a little bit more security. So just have your gunner and uh, one dismount from the vehicle. You're already going to have the uh, driver. It's going to take a while for the assault coming around from the north. However, with that, plan on withdrawing as well back to the tree line. It's time to draw weapons and finalize preparations. As the mission draws closer, every unit runs through their orders. Pilots review weather and flight plans. Rifle companies map out their objective. Each platoon formally briefs their Marines. Now to insert, we insert a 96. On extract, we have no detainees. I need all players to confirm those numbers. Once orders are distributed, Leaders at every level must step up and make sure their Marines are ready for action. We're going to be coming down in the second wave. We're just going to consolidate off the edge of the bird. We're going to push down. We're going to link up with third platoon, which is going to be located here at support by fire position. We're going to pull third down. They're going to join into our consolidation. At that point, we'll begin SSC on the objective. Team maneuver in the well deck has changed a little bit, all right? Right now, make sure that you guys get with your section leaders, talked about some of the details. When the LCACs start leaving out of this well deck, 
drivers stay in the stations. At that time, crew chiefs should be up here doing their thing with their squads. You gonna go? With only one hour before launch, they will check and recheck their plans, their gear, and each other. Take a look at this map. See all this historic recording that we have. A lot of IED activity along the main MSRs. There's not a whole lot of time from when the LCAC splash to when we got a splash. It's somewhere like 20 minutes. So as, if you can get as much of this stuff done before the LCAC splash, that's what you need to do. This road right here, this is our OR page. You're going to block like north, northwest, I believe, on that road and uh, just stay there while we go into the objective site. All right, down and dirty, ski maneuver is, we'll splash in the back of the ship, we hit the beach, you guys know what to do. Good? Yeah! Alert 60, amphibious raid launch at 1900. In just six hours, the MU has finalized a rapid response plan and prepared to launch a full-scale amphibious raid. A combined arms force built around a mechanized rifle company is ready to move on the objective. Everybody know what's going on. Everybody know where they're going. force and readiness that combines all of the Marine Corps' combat capabilities into a single unit. They train and deploy with the same intensity, preparing to win our nation's battles whenever and wherever they are called. 